Welcome to this Filmora Masterclass. I am Sean Kitching, a full-time travel filmmaker and YouTuber. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you what steps you can take to edit a YouTube video right here in Filmora with ease. Editing a YouTube video can be complex, so let me take you through a simple version of how I like to edit a YouTube video right here in Filmora. The first thing I'm gonna do, of course, is drop my footage straight into the timeline. But instead of going through that footage, individually cutting out any of my pauses, or mistakes, I can use something called AI silence detection, a very helpful and time efficient plugin that Filmora offers. So instead of cutting all of that out manually, Filmora will actually do it for me automatically. Right click on the clip and select silence detection to open the window. We can customize the parameters right here to get our cuts perfectly depending on our background noise or anything else when capturing the footage and if Filmora doesn't get it just the way you want it you can go down here on the bottom and move around the cuts to be perfect for the clip that you are working on. Once you are happy, you can hit export to insert it back into the timeline so you can continue editing. Next, we can add some background music to our video to keep it engaging. We can use things like AI Music Generator to create the perfectly matched song for the clip that we're working on, allowing you to do things like insert the custom time that you want the music to be so that it fits perfectly on your video. One of the key factors when editing is to hold the attention of the viewer and make sure that the points we are talking about are clear. The main way I've found to do this is by adding texts and captions onto our videos and letting them be spread out throughout that entire video to make sure that anything we're explaining can be further emphasized or shown in a more easy to understand way. Using Filmora, we can add text and captions easily by heading to the titles panel. You can find the text that you want to use and customize it to your preference. You can also do things like save it as a favorite so you can ensure that your branding stays consistent throughout multiple projects. Once you've found the text you want to use and you've customized it in the way you want, you can simply add it over your video footage to ensure that it's keeping up the engagement throughout that video. We can make sure we do a couple of other things to our edit like color grading by just heading to the effects panel overlays, finding the desired LUT we want and throwing it straight onto our footage. But just know that there are a few extra steps that you can take to really push this video to the next level. But as for the very basics and how I like to kind of structure my videos, that is going to be pretty much it. I hope you guys found this useful and happy editing.